That's right, Mole. Sniff Yoshi's butt. I'm gonna be doing some chill puzzle levels, which really aren't that chill. <laughs> They're usually pretty tough. So, I mean, there's a ton of Sean hit puzzles we haven't done yet. Let's just try it. Let's just jump right into it. We'll go door blockade puzzle. Thank you for the bits, Tardist. Door blockade puzzle. It's been a while since we've done some puzzle levels. So we're getting blockaded here. We have a bomb. We have a P. And we also have a door. I imagine we can go into this door on top of the P, right? And now we're blocked because it's called door blockade puzzle. <laughs> and then that P lands on our head when we come back out, though. Is that something that... Ow. Well, I think that just messed everything up. I don't know what we do with that either. Where do we got to get that? Okay, so we got to get the bo Oh, if we shoot the bomb up there, it blows up the the brick there and the pow will fall down. So maybe we can do that. Okay. I wonder if I like jumped up and like booped it over if that would even like do anything. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just let's do this. Let's see what this does. Well, that destroyed everything because it hit the pow. I feel like we shouldn't do that quite yet. But if we do that and then jump on the P, oh wow, we can go many places now. Oh wow. This just this opened up this opened up a lot for us. So what we can do first is we can go up here. We throw that there. We blow it up and now let's go through here. And now I believe the munchers respawn. Oh you you can't do that. Hot diggity, but we can grab a pow now. Oh, I see. We take the pow through here. Shit. <laughs> we take the pow with us in our hands and then it doesn't block us as soon as we go through the door. Because we have the pow in our hands and then it won't respawn when we go through. But then we have to, we have to throw the pow because we'll fall into the munchers. So grab the pow and then we jump on the pee and go through the door. But then we have to let go. What? Okay, so one of the munchers still hit me. I wonder, do I have to drop the pow? Because I, I didn't get blocked at the door anymore, which is good. Maybe I launch the pow upwards as I go through the door. Okay, we're gonna launch it up. Oh. No, it still fell on my head! Our mission is to go here. Which we're gonna need the pow and the pee to go through and a key. So we need two red coins. We need the POW and the P stacked up and we go through the red coin door and we get to the end. Watch this. No, don't watch it quite yet. No, watch this. Wait a sec. I need the P activated to go through there. So we need to use... What? I was going to say we need to use the POW to go into this door. But we need to use the P to go into the door. But when we go through that door, we're going to go to the right side. And then there's like... A P door over there, so we need the P activated. So we need to go through this door with the P, or activate the P and then go through the door. Hey guys, I found a mushroom growing on my lawn and I want to know if it's good to eat or not. Well, I mean, if Mario's any indicator, you're gonna... You're gonna power yourself up. But don't take my advice. <laughs> don't... Don't eat it. Hey, wait a second. Wait a second, we need that mushroom to stay alive. Oh, that's- that was the wrong door. Oh shit, don't kill me! <laughs> oh, what? A pow appeared here. Because- Ooh, wow! I took the bomb through the door, and then the pow appeared closer. I don't know how that happened, but that's amazing. Oh my god, that pow dropped there. Oh shit, we messed it up. So if we take the bomb through the door, the pow appears over- to the d d d right near the coin door or the key door. That's incredible. That changes everything. So we need to grab this pow first. And we can do that. And now we can. Huh. 240 bits to my favorite sellout. <laughs> Thank you. Brings a tear to my eye, doesn't it? Brings a tear to my eye. So we go through here. We're over on the right side now. And we have this P block. And we can hit the P block. And I wonder if I should just go up here. So I think we should bring the, um, the bomb over here. And we can maybe get that mushroom later. 
I don't know. It's something that we're probably gonna have to do. Let's just go for this. Oh, it stop. What? Okay, so the P stops you there. But if you hit the P, the P goes away. But you have to hit the P to go through the P door. That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, we made a tiny bit of progress. Man, I thought I was making some sick progress, though. This is giving me a headache. <laughs> it's because it's hard. If I activate the bomb, put it in my hand, throw it in the air, and then throw the pow, I can keep it alive. But then I would have to, like, drop the pow over at that door, and then grab the bomb again, and then go through the door. I don't have enough time. There's just not enough time. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're using our mental power. We're gonna get this any time now. Is like, we hit that, and then we just go through. What happens if we just go through here now? No, that pow is still blocking the way. But that muncher wasn't there anymore. So that's what we need to do. We need to, like, hit the- what? Do you guys see that? The muncher, like, fell down here. There's a muncher on top of me now. Do you guys see in this? And this muncher's gone. Because when you hit the P, that's amazing. You hit the P and go through the door. Okay. We just figured out something. So on the left, the muncher didn't show up again because the P was blocking it. I, I get it. We're getting it. Okay, watch. Watch this madness. We got the order a little better now. So this is amazing. This is amazing. This is amazing. So now what we can do is we can take this with us. Hit this. And now we go through here. And we come back and we grab the P. And we go through here. And that's blocking us. So we need to do that last. We need to do the part with the door and the POW first. And then we need to do that part last. Let's see what happens when we take this bomb through the door. Oh shit. I just want to see. Does the mushroom come out? It does. So now we get this. And that doesn't matter because that's there. So now the question is like, how do we get this mushroom and then come back through the door while the P is still activated? Let's take this with us. Because what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to have the POW and the P here. So the POW and the P here, that's great. And the bomb, That's fantastic. We can't hit the POW, because if we hit the POW, then the coins fall, and then if the coin falls at the top, uh, when we activate the P, the muncher will still fall and kill me when I go through the door. So it's pretty complex. I think this is the ideal situ situation we want to be in, is like right here. So we need to activate the P. I think I know what we got to do, but this is like bananas. Oh my god, this is bananas. Wrong order, Eric, you dummy. That was the wrong order, yeah. Ah, I did it! That's what I wanted to do! Woohoo! Did you see that shit? That wasn't that hard! Oh my god! So yeah, what I had to do is I had to run through here with the bomb, and then the P pow blocks here. I throw the- I threw the bomb up, and then I threw the pow, and then I caught the bomb and threw it back up to get rid of that muncher that was up there. Uh, we're running out of time though, but at least we found out how to do it. Now what we do is we drop the POW there, we do it like we normally did, we take that through here, but we activate the P so the muncher doesn't show up through there, and now we let go, we throw it, and oh my god, I threw it too early. <laughs> there's, uh, there's so much setup though, oh my goodness. Oh wow, oh wow! <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. I actually dropped the bomb. You Mario, you butterfingers. Oh, wait, that's the one we need to take with us. Okay. This is the one we need to put underneath the door. It's all about which pow you put underneath the door. So now we hit that, go through the door, we fall down, we hit that, and voila. We did it. We've done that. We've done that whole middle section. It's great. I feel like we can drop all the coins now. I feel like that doesn't matter. But does it? Because... <laughs> We gotta take the P through the door, but we need to activate the P and then also take the P through the door. So this next section, you have to be super fast as well. What's the best approach to do this? So I need to grab this POW. We need to go fast. We need to do like this. 
I need to let go of that right away. I need to launch that off. Oh, and then that falls. Shit. I was going to say, then what we have to do is we have to take that pow, we have to put it underneath the door, we have to grab the pee, we have to go through the door, and then we have to jump up and go. <laughs> You'd have to be so fast to be able to do that. We're going to find out what's in that destructible block on the other side. Oh! Oh, that's how you do it! Wait a sec. There's a muncher there. <laughs> you break the block and there's a muncher that blocks your way. So the reason why the block is there is to protect the munchers so that if you try to blow up the block with the coin, it makes it so you can't do that. Because if you could blow up the block with the coin and just get rid of the coin, it would make the level, I would be able to do the level, right? Ah, oh, that's such a headache because if you hit the P, you can't get the big. That's what's basically making me lose here, is if you hit the P, you can't get the big because it blocks the mushroom. So how do you get the big and destroy the block underneath it when you can't even get the mushroom to begin with? How do you, how do you, uh, why'd I go back? Because, um, I can't go through the P door. That, that coin was blocking the way. So when the P is activated, what happens is, uh, the, the block, the coin changes to a block. So while the P is activated, I can't go through there. So if I hit the P and go through the P door, the P shows up at the top and it blocks me from coming out. So if you look at the top here, like beside my webcam, uh, there's a door there and the P starts there. So if I go through that door without the P in my hand, then that blocks me from going through there. So I need to have a P in my hand as I go through the P door, otherwise I'm blocked. And I think I just... I don't need all these POWs. I think I just hit this, go through here, and I just grab the P and take it with me now. And that's it. There's no, there's nothing. Yeah, that's it. I just got to book it. <gasps> oh my God. We're, do <laughs> we're doing it. Okay. Now, is this the part where you need the mushroom? Because I feel like we're going to die if we don't. So we're going to get the mushroom, which shouldn't be that hard to get now. You did something. Yay, cat. That sounds so condescending. <laughs> well, maybe just the way I read it. So we take the pee. Now, to get the mushroom to show up, what we have to do is we have to wait for the timer to run out. And we have to wait for the muncher to block us. So, as you can see, the block at the top was... Uh, it turned into a block and it blocked the mushroom. So we go through here. The muncher is going to block us. Now, the P reappears, and we jump back on the P, and we can go through this door. So now that we've done that, all we need is the POW blocks. Oops, I should have waited for the goddamn uh, P timer to run out. We need to take this POW with us through the door, because this POW spawns right here. If that's there, it's going to block it. So we need to take this POW with us. That POW has to go with. Um, so let's just hold it. Yeah, if we don't have that POW, we will die. 100%. Or, or the door will be blocked, I should say. So let's keep this here. And I... Oh, jeez. Okay, we can still get through there. And the bomb will certainly do damage to us. 100% the bomb's going to do damage to us as we go through the door, which is why we need the big, I think. And now we go through here. And we got it! That's got to be it! Come on, please. Yes, that's it! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad we got that mushroom. Yes! And that, yeah, that pow would have blocked the door if we didn't have it in our hand. So, I'm glad we took that with us too. Alright, we got it. It was worth it. That was an amazing puzzle. That was really complex, and uh, it's just so complex in such a small space. There's so many things you have to do to solve it, even though it's just one screen. It's bananas how Sean Hip makes these, you know. This is, uh, that, that was one of the coolest puzzles, actually, I've done. One of the, uh, I think there's been a couple cooler ones, but that one was just, it, it was just really well designed. It made use of, like, the blocking door mechanics so extremely well. Damn, that took a long time. Why don't we try to find an easier one? There's a lot we haven't done. We'll do one more and then we'll call it quits. 
Holy moly! There's a lot of moles there. Wow, I died. That was a, an amazing beginning, guys. This one looks like the solution's gonna be a little simpler, like it's, it's a little less complex. So, I mean, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get that Yoshi. Oh, I thought if we hit that P underneath him, maybe it would uh, either fall down or he would activate it, but maybe not. We need to get this guy to show up, but like, not jump up there. He jumps up there, because we could use him to jump on his head to like, jump onto that platform, which would help us somehow. Oh! That's so easy. I'm so- I'm so bad at games. Well, ain't that something. We just gotta block the mole with the P. But then how do we activate the P, though? Yay! But... Okay, I, actually, I think you can still grab it from underneath. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta do a little tiny jump. That's awesome! Oh fuck. That's right, mole, sniff Yoshi's butt. Well, we can use the mole for other stuff, though. I bet we could use the mole to jump up on the elevator. Okay. <laughs> they all die up there. <laughs> Guys, look at me, I'm up here. Oh, when the elevator comes down, the bomb comes down. Oh. The bomb does not hit the pow, though. It doesn't blow up the pow, does it? Does it blow up the pow? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Ba-boom! So all those moles were blocking the way. You need to get up high enough to, like, make the moles come down. Oh, you might not even have to actually get the elevator to go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we do that. Uh, no, we don't want the bomb to do that quite. We go here, and we- oh shit, come on. That didn't- So we wait for the wrench mole guy to go up, and then we use the P, and then we blow up that one block that's above him. And that's gonna do something, for some reason. Jeez, come on. No, I thought he was- oh well, it doesn't matter. The P time lasts. Okay. That didn't do anything. Yeah, I was thinking the- the wrench mole would be able to push the pow as well, right? You can actually make coins fall with the bombs, really? I had no idea you could do that. Wow. I had no idea the bombs did that. That's bonkers. Well, that's the solution. Cool. Now we just... Jump, please. There we go. Damn. Didn't realize that. Can we get the Yoshi out? Yep, we can get the Yoshi out with the POW. And now it all just makes so much sense to me. Now we can get the mole out. That might be important. Let's put the pal a little bit over here. Okay, moly. Come out, but don't hit me, please. Wait a sec. We might have had to use the pal while the mole was falling. I want to eat him. Oh! Hey! I think I know what we got to do. Watch this. Ah! <laughs> we got to destroy the shell by doing that. That's so funny. We need to jump off the mole. I'm dumb. I'm so tired. Sorry. Okay. So, solution. We found out. You get the pee. Throw the pee up there. We get mo little moly down here. Okay, Molly, come on down, little boy. And we go, we get back our P. A oh, juice! Okay, come on, let's I know how to do this. Let's just nice and calm. Okay, let's get by him. We go up here. Use the mole to jump there. Keep the P in our hands. We don't really need to keep the P in our hands. 
So we put that wall, putting it here makes life convenient. So we can just like throw the bomb in there. Let's wait for Moly to throw his little wrench. Now let's hit this bomb and you son of a meanie pie. God, just drop it, drop it. Jeez, so scary, so scary. Now you throw that P up there, the POW I mean. Get the POW up there. And now we can get the Yoshi. Just drop the POW there, switch places, and now we just boop him over. Boop, 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 boop. And... Uh, we, oh yeah, we need to get a wrench, that's the next step. Death and murder in Mario. Now we get Buddy Boy Gopher Maloper, I mean Moly Moly to Holy, to come down. Yep, yep, yep. And now we got to jump on his silly head. And look at that, we profit. We won! Yay! That one was easier than the last one, but I did get stuck with the whole POW block. I did not know that you could actually hit coins with bombs. No idea. I will remember that for future puzzle levels, though. That is something that is completely new to me. Holy man. Alright, excellent. Holy moly puzzle complete. That's gonna be it for today. I am done. I enjoyed the two levels that we played. Uh, I really liked the first one. This one was good too. Uh, the first one though, I just really liked its complexity. I thought it was a really good puzzle level. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next stream. As always, peace.